，释放你的超能力。那次邀您观看我们的浪潮。很多人都以为在洛杉矶，你可以毫无顾忌地当一个怪人，但我发现，这种怪也是要符合众人所推崇的审美的。哥特妆容在维多利亚时期就已经产生，在九十年代初期，受到内心愤怒、绝望的年轻人的推崇。他们通过画上惨白的皮肤和浓重的黑色油彩，去表达自己，并找到彼此。一直以来，哥特妆容都被打上强烈的标签。这样的妆容在现在的美国仍不是主流。我们要去认识的 Angel 和他的乐队，就是这样一小群找到了同类的年轻人。I'm based out of、uh, Los Angeles. I'm a musician and. Producer primarily. I'm also a part-time Lyft driver to help pay the bills. I moved to LA on my own, and I started just being myself. I came here to like to like pursue my dreams. My parents wanted me to go to medical school because I knew a lot about science. I've always been like a straight A student. I was really smart, but I decided to like just focus more on arts, and they were just. Afraid that I was going to end up like the people on the side of the road, like begging for money. I don't wear the makeup I normally wear when I'm driving because I don't want to scare the passengers. But. I'm not sure if this is something I want to do for the rest of my life. I like to do a lot of goth and post-apocalyptic-looking makeup styles, a lot of avant-garde and androgynous looks, and stuff that looks kind of alien or out of this world. I kind of treat like my face as like a, a canvas, and I'm painting. I had a lot of like animosity and anger in my heart, like growing up, just because I was like picked on and bullied so much. I just didn't really trust anyone. Growing up in Atlanta, I was probably. The only one I knew, like in person, I was doing makeup like that. A lot of my friends back then were kind of like ashamed to be around me when I was like wearing makeup or like dressed different than everyone else. So I kind of felt isolated, like I didn't actually have any real friends. I get a lot of like hate comments just because of like the makeup I'm wearing. They just want to get the satisfaction of making you react in any kind of way. So I almost never engage in any of those comments. In meeting Angel, I was surprised by Angel's impression of Goethe. But when I saw Angel and his band, the impression of Goethe was still far beyond my expectations. Beyond being described as a costume, I think it's more like a stage performance. Hey, it's Jay. Nice to meet you. I love your guy contact. This is so cool. Thank you. Yeah, but how do you think about me today? Well, could add a little bit of paint here. And... Let's do this. I'm very breathless. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Now we're twins. 
You know, we're <laughs> twins. Wow. It's a cool. It's my first time to do the makeup like that. Oh, that's cool. It looks good on you. I know. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. I'm not going to bend over like that. Okay. Stands, do you want to paint my tongue? Like, it's hard for me to see behind me. Angel actually taught me a couple things, like uh, how to use the stipple sponge, but I haven't done that yet because I'm waiting for Angel to work on me. <laughs> Yeah. When I was 11, I saw the dude, Angel Nightmare. I saw one of his videos, I forgot which one it was, but I remember the topic, it was about bullying or something, which was that I was going through since I was in sixth grade. I related so much. Not much, not much of my friends supported me. Uh, once beginning sixth grade started, I was only left with like about five friends. I tried not socializing. I was a bit scared. It was the only thing that really made me happy. You're here super long too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they probably just made their own rule. Like how yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw him <laughs> You can make it, but at least you saw the snaps. So. <laughs> kind of like an amalgamation of all of the hate and anger that I used to like harbor for the world. It's just kind of like using that to just let out that stress and that, that anger towards the world. Angel Ever since I was like really little, my first memories of me just being like, man, I just want the world to be happy. Yeah, I get a lot of messages, like people saying like, you know, it's like, thank you for just being yourself and being open and honest. Like, you make me feel like I'm not alone in this world. And I, it, it really drives me to keep going because, like, there's so many times I wanted to just give up on, like, art and music and just everything. No. Yeah. 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 I have yeah. no one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. That was a bad one. I have no money, but that's because I keep buying music equipment. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the people always judging the people just by the outlook. Like if you just put a bunch of makeup, they feel like you're negative, you're creepy, you're dramatic, but which is just not true. I want to know exactly what you guys are recording here because this Ralph used to be 24 seven and there's a lot of weird people coming around here. And uh, you're the I don't know. Yeah. This store used to be 24 7, and, and I just want to know if this is part of the problem or whatnot. No, I have no idea. You should investigate. Yeah. yeah, and we're just having fun. You're just trying to kill the vibe, so get out. Come <laughs> 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 To answer your question. Thank yeah. you, sir. <laughs> Yes, you've never wondered. Thank that. You. <laughs> People will go out of their way to try and like sometimes get you removed from where you're at because you don't look right. It's very, very powerful and freeing to just kind of embrace that and go, okay, I am a freak. It helps. How about your guys' family? Like, uh, are they supporting you? I don't know, I'm not, my family is fine with me the way I am, but they just, they're also not really involved. My siblings, they like me, but they don't engage in anything that I do. Like my dad would be like, oh, why do you have to be so negative? Why do you have to look so dark? But I'm like, I'm exactly who you think I am all the time. I'm not, I'm not all negative just because I want to put on a bunch of makeup. I'm not like yeah. evil or something. But I think makeup should be normalized for men in general, and, and people should be allowed to do more with stuff like that. When you dress like this, especially when you're younger, you do feel alone and you feel like you don't belong in this world. And a lot of people will go out of their way to make you feel like you don't belong in this world. 
I never would have thought any of this was possible in my life. I'm like happy with everything I have, but I just feel like there's a higher level that, that I can reach. Hey, Angel, you're all right, next <laughs> <laughs>在韩国，美妆和偶像文化是密不可分的。这是一个价值巨大的全民产业，尤其引领的韩妆潮流，成为亚洲对世界最大的美妆文化输出。只要当红偶像使用一个产品，它就会被迅速卖空，好像用过这
중국 중국 트렌드. 어, 저, 누가 말해? 예전에는 아이돌 할 때는 제약이 너무 많고 한국도 케이팝이 뭔가 판타지를 줘야 되는 직업이다 보니까 뭐 연애도 못 하고 뭐 친구들도 잘못 만나고 심지어 핸드폰도 할수 없. 그리고 일단 이걸 못 먹어. 남자 애들은 60kg 이상이 되면 안 됐고 여자 친구들은 40kg 이상이 되면 안 됐어. 아. 오 귀엽게 큐트 큐트 보이. 투데이 컨셉 투 큐트 보이. I am Daft Punk. 맨날 비 웃어. 그래서 해달라고 하면 또안 해줘. I feel like you need to learn because I can't be there all the time. Before makeup was only for girls, mm -hmm. but now even just like basic stuff for guys is becoming more and more normal. People are always judging. Yeah. But my friends still ask me the question is like, uh, um, I mean, they're good on the TV. They're looking good on TV. But are you gonna really date some people, mm -hmm. some guy who can who do the makeup? Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody got the power to feel like, a, oh, I feel I'm pretty with that. Mm, right, like, right, right, uh, right. Yeah, you got your power to chase, like, you want to be a beautiful people. Right, exactly. Idol culture is definitely taken more to extreme because their image is completely manufactured by these companies. I feel like the second an idol becomes really normal, you lose the fantasy. Some people either don't care or some people aren't even aware, and so they continue to pursue a dream or fantasy that they have. I wouldn't even say it's like a bad thing necessarily because they're working hard at what they love. In a way, I kind of like admire people that um, have so much, even if they're not necessarily successful, that have all this passion for what they do. Those are the type of people that influence me, actually. I feel like the next step would be to start my own business, I think. The goal is to get it. Success? Success? I got it. But success is different from other people. Yes, it's always the same. It's not the same as the people's eyes. It's not the same as the people's eyes. If I feel like I'm happy, I feel like I'm happy. I think that's the same thing. People know the happy. 有些人觉得偶像文化是一件坏的事情，因为它把大家都变得一样，一样的发型，一样的妆容。但其实，当我们把偶像文化看成是一种本地固有文化的时候，未尝不会迸发出新的特色。每个人都会想要享受一下自己变成巨星的样子。作为年轻人 ，Edward 和他的朋友们对于梦想的执着和对生活的满足感，令我羡慕。If I had to choose the easy way, I would have never start dancing. I don't get makeup. That's just me. I just want to be me. That style can be them. They can be themselves. So I, I don't care about that. 이제 나름 화장도 하고 하면서 신경 쓰면서 나가고 있어. 항상 이제 완벽할 수도 없으니까 그런 게 계속 유지하는 게 가장 힘든 거야. 내가 연습생 때 텔레비에서 보는 내가 음악 프로 너무 서고 싶었어요. 근데 내가 처음 방송 무대 섰을 때 서는 순간. 아내 꿈을 잃었다 약간 이런 느낌보다는 
뭔가 좀 허무하더라고요 내가 지금 30대를 걸어오지만 근데 그거를 털어내고 나니까 지금은 하루하루 그 불안한 게 하루하루가 기대가 되는 걸로 바뀌었어요 제가 중국 가고 싶다고 중국 가고 싶다고 그런 건잘 돼가지고 중국도 가고 사장님 <웃음> 뭐. <웃음> 네. 안녕하세요 네. 안녕하세요 네. 안녕하세요 네. 안녕하세요 네. 안녕하세요 Kind of intimidated by idol culture or gay beauty or feel like they don't have a space in it. I feel like it's more about adapting it to yourself. If you are interested in it, I think you should just jump into it and make it work for you. I don't think I'm ever, like, even living in Korea, I don't plan on leaving anytime soon. I'm going to be here for a while. For me, my knowledge about India is more from Bollywood and TV news. But just from these, I can't completely understand a country. Indu是历史上最早使用化妆品的古都之一，但现如今我们却很少去讨论跟印度有关的美妆文化。它似乎在慢慢的消失，被流行文化所遗忘。第一次看到亚什纳的美妆作品时，我就被那些又古老又自由
Yeah, I hear some more music. We feel that that uh, like that we are in heaven. ये पहले कैसे थे कि लावनी को लोग नाम रखते थे कि ये क्या है बदनाम कर रखते थे तो ऐसा करते 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 हम लोग ने पूरा ये कंटिन्यूज रखा है। तो अभी तो आप लोग अपना मेकअप खुद करते हैं। ऐसा कुछ है जो आप चाहते हैं कि कोई आप पर करे जो ट्रेडिशनल होता है वो ही ट्रेडिशनल उसमें कुछ आप अलग करोगे तो उसमें कोई मतलब नहीं है वो जितने भी अच्छा नहीं लगता क्या होता है कि उसमें जो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन जो होता है मेल टू फीमेल सो हमें भी उसको बहुत संभाल के करना पड़ता है कि हम एक लड़की बन रहे हैं बहुत संभाल के उसको अचीव करना पड़ता है और ये स्टेज पे से दिखते हैं इसके लिए ज़्यादा करके ब्राइट कलर क्योंकि इससे एक्सप्रेशन भी उठ के दिखते हैं। With the younger generation, there's a sense of embarrassment when when they are trying to embrace their culture because there is so much pressure to imitate the the standard that is being set by the West. I I also noticed that they they don't really acknowledge how much potential. India has in terms of fashion, in terms of beauty. So I just want to do something bright, something that isn't uh, with the colors that they traditionally use. They use reds and pinks a lot because they want to show femininity. So I want to take a color that's the opposite and I want to add something to it because they focus on sharp features and I want to make it soft and I want to make it bolder than it is. I love that this country that I live in has so much color and so much to offer. It took me quite a while to get to this point where I accepted my culture and it's now that I'm learning about what what this country has. It's now that I feel confident enough to wear it and now that I feel more comfortable in it as well. Everybody's trying to find that middle ground because it's so important for our identities to where I'm from and what I've been taught all my life. This whole look is like inspired by the colors and the forms in the peacock. The blue and the color and all, all the elements and the forms. It's just such a beautiful thing to incorporate into makeup. There are some similarities to what Lavni dancers do typically with with uh, the fact that they try to keep it really dramatic and bold and colorful. Mm. Mm. Pink color for the eyes, mm. uh, red, dark red lipstick. I was trying to first time to try it. It looks like something different. They're doing it with their tactics, but we're getting to learn that they're doing the technique. We do it in fashion and makeup, so we do it. But in the first time, we do it so much. So, there's a lot of new things. Okay, so we're going to do it. Hello! Oh my God! Wow! Now you look like a 
like places. It's wow. Open. <laughs> like it's kind of so hard to describe like how I feel these differences between that day and the today. Everybody, I'm the Princess Jasmine tonight, and you guys are queen from the palace. They're so protective and proud of what they do. Like right now, to watch them do what they love um, after me doing what I love with them, like my heart is full. I, I can't explain how excited I am. <laughs> about gets lost in translation and that doesn't completely come to the fore. Inside we take a lot of pride in, in our culture when people outside of India talk about it we are fiercely protective about it. There's a story and there's a reason behind every color and every line in every part of India because we are the people creating the culture for a hundred years from now and we should be contributing something that is ours and not somebody else's. Through Nancy 